Yeah, hope y'all do. <laughs>
All right, Ryan, I'll, I'll look it up for you. Um, but I was, uh, I'm trying to learn how to do that shit. It's just fucking hard. Jesus is It's hard. almost like you have to suck in to do it or something. I don't know. I used to know somebody that could do it, and they tried to teach me how to do it, and I was like, it does hurt. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It hurts like crazy, man. It, it does. It, it really, really does. It's, uh, I don't, I don't know any other, any other way to, to, to put it, but that shit's like, ow, fuckers. Yeah, Ugh, that's shit. taking your voice box to a whole nother level. Yeah, it, it is, and I don't, you know, I, I've been to singing lessons and stuff like that, and I've learned, a, I've learned a lot, but that shit right there is, uh, Wow. Holy shit. It just makes you wonder that in like 20 years, are those people going to be able to talk? Yeah, I, I don't see why they couldn't. I mean. Or are they going to be permanently people, talking like that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, singers have been kidding. doing it for over the years, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, sure. I got you in queue, Ron. This guy looks funny as fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, so Ron <clears throat> put in the chat group. Brad Williams, midget comic. He is a midget. So we got daddy issues. We got the M word. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's going to be hilarious. Oh, shit. Let's let's do the M word. Uh, M word or daddy issues, Jade? Um, I don't know. Ron, speak up. You know more about this than we do, or than I do, anyways. <laughs> if you don't speak up soon, I'm going to say the M word. Well, she said the M word. I hate midgets. <laughs> I do. Uh, not all midgets. I like some, but a lot of them I don't like. And I'll tell you why. Because when I started doing comedy, I thought I would be a voice for my people. You know what I mean? There's, 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 there's not a lot of midgets doing comedy. I thought I would be the guy. And, and they would look up to me the same way black people look up to and respect Chris Rock. And Latinos look up to and respect George Lopez and Carlos Mencia. I thought the midgets would do that for me. I was wrong. No. They hate me. They, I didn't know how much they hated me until I did a show in Detroit, Michigan at a comedy club. I swear to you guys, I'm getting out of my car to go to the comedy club. Out front of the comedy club, there were 24 midgets protesting me. Protesting. The sign and everything. And their news was there. They walked up to me. They're like, Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, do you have any comments? Your own people are protesting you. What do you have to say? I couldn't think of anything. So I'm like, uh... They're midgets. <laughs> Nobody even saw. <laughs> A Mini Cooper drove up, blocked the entire protest. I don't care. <laughs> but it, honestly, it, uh, it got to me. So I walked out to the little group of midgets and I walked up to them and I'm like, hey, take me to your leader. <laughs> and this one midget comes up and I look at him and I go, hey, dude, seriously, why do you guys hate me? He looks at me and goes, well, Brad, we hate you because you say the word midget on stage. Midget? That's bad? What's wrong with midget? He looks at me and he's like, well, midget is a derogatory term. When people hear the word midget, they don't think of a human being. Rather, they think of some sort of fantastical carnival creature or something you might find in a Disney movie. We need a more mature word, something that we all can rally behind and that portrays us rightly as human beings. That's why we want to be called dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidding me? Dwarf? Really? Midget's bad, dwarf is okay. Are you serious? Like, to me, dwarf sounds worse, right? Dwarf just sounds worse. It's harsh. It's dwarf. It's dwarf. It's, uh, it sounds like Lord of the Rings or something like that. Like, you, you think I'm going to walk up on stage like, it's my precious. Like, it's stupid. Like, really? Like, midget sounds fine to me. It does. It just, it's an easy word. It flows. It's midget. It's midget. It, it almost sounds French, like I'm hanging out with my midget. It's good. And I told the guy this, and his response to this day blows my mind. He actually looked at me and he goes, well, Brad, this just shows how ignorant you truly are. Because don't you realize, Brad, that when you call a dwarf a midget, it's the exact same as calling a black person the N-word? 
I looked at him and I said, Midget, please. <laughs> No, not the same, not the same. Listen, when you hear the N-word, some bad images come to your head. You hear the N-word, you start thinking of slave ships, masses, chains, Flava Flav. <laughs> you start thinking of some evil stuff. What pops in your head when you hear the word midget? Good things like popcorn, cotton candy, happiness. That pops into your head. I told the guy, this is like, well, Brad, it's your lackluster attitude that allows this to occur. Why is it, Brad? People are so quick. They always call us midget. They'll never call a black person the N-word. Why is that? Easy. Because a midget's not going to fucking kill you if you call him a midget. That's why. What am I going to do? Punch him in the ankle? Like, that's not right. No. But a black guy, he'll kick your ass if you call him the N-word. That's why they call it the N-word. That's the only syllable that a white dude can get out for the black man just beats him down. It's like, hey man, I see you. You're one of them fucking nip. <laughs> Don't ask cracker. compare the struggle of the midget to the struggle of the black man? You can't do that. Black people at one point were slaves. Slaves. That's terrible. They were slaves. Midgets were never slaves. We would have made the worst slaves on the planet. Slave, reach me that pot. Nope. Besides, we, we never, midgets never had anything that bad. In fact, if you do your history, you'll find out that in ancient Egypt, midgets were actually given to pharaohs as gifts. <laughs> yeah! In ancient Egypt, this was the equivalent of a dozen roses and a Hallmark card. Like, that's awesome! Wow. <laughs> Alright, Rod, I have to hand it to you. That was pretty epic. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're gonna put daddy issues into the playlist. Yeah. That's funny. I have issues reaching pots <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Me too, when I'm sitting in my wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I can relate. Oh, shit. That was funny. Hey, will you do me a favor put in the chat group to tell Killer that the Facebook user was my old I account. did. Okay. I already did. Yeah. I can't see it. It popped up, but I can't reply or anything. So yeah, I, I, told, I let her know because she was like, who is that? I was like... Yeah, I'll let her know. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit, Ron. Touche, brother. Touche. No, uh, he ran. He said he ran across him last week. Yeah, it, dude. The dude looks like he's gonna be pretty funny. The the uh, the cover to his, uh, I guess, his comedian album is him standing up trying to reach a normal woman's boobs. They can't oh reach my him. gosh! They <laughs> right there at the stomach. It's kind of funny. Just saying. I mean, you know, I took pictures of me standing beside my Christmas tree and then a picture of Heather standing beside the Christmas tree. Actually, the tree's taller than her, and I'm, like, towering over the son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I, I I think I posted that picture of me standing beside it. I have my jeans and shit on, but once somebody put in there, oh, my God, you're taller than the fucking tree, dude. Oh, it was killer that, that put that in there. It's like, you're taller than a fucking tree, dude. I'm like, aren't most guys? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> ah, shit. Well, happy, happy what? news. You know, go ahead, go ahead. What you got? Oh, no, I was just reading what uh, Ron was saying. What happens when I get bored? Not much to do around the house. That's what happens when you live in Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, uh. Get out of where the fuck is no, that's Kansas. I live in Kansas. I did go look for tough. Dude, there are so many fucking Wizard of Oz fucking museums in fucking Kansas. It's not even funny. Really? Holy shit. I want to go. <laughs> oh, my God. I swear. You got to drive two hours to do anything. And one of my doctors was in Kansas City. So I had a four-hour drive down there anyway. And driving into Kansas and driving back and forth between Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri, and shit. Jeez Louise, they really fucking take Wizard of Oz to heart. Yeah, the movie's old, but yes, there's so many little museums. 
I actually tried to go find Toto one day, and I had no luck.